All right, to watch this video for Monday, May 14th. Uh, real quick, guys, there's going to be a lot of new faces in chat on Monday, so let's make sure and welcome everybody and uh, show them the teamwork that we have. Um, this weekend is the last chance to get a lifetime membership, so a lot of people have taken advantage of that. So, um, again, a lot of new faces. If you're a member and you're not on a lifetime membership, uh, there's a link right below this video. Later tonight, I'm going to be pulling the lifetime off the website altogether, so kind of last chance for that deal. Uh, it's actually cheaper than a one-year membership, so uh, don't miss out because after that, uh, the longest membership we're going to offer is a two-year, and it's more than the lifetime uh, this weekend, so uh, today's the last day. Um, the SPY, closing pretty darn strong again, but keep in mind, this thing's run up for, you know, like seven days in a row almost we've had green days, so keep that in mind. Uh, it's kind of overdue for a pullback. Uh, here's what I'm watching on Monday. HEAR, which is really, really ahead of itself. Um, but super strong and actually closed stronger than I thought it would. So we need to watch this one. Uh, I don't know if tomorrow's going to be the day, but uh, as you know, I look for intraday setups on strong stocks. Uh, so we'll see uh, if it gives a setup on Monday, but I definitely want to watch this one all week, uh, probably for the next two weeks. Sears Holdings, if you weren't in the chat room on Friday, I did take a screenshot of the call I made. Um, this was the opening rush or the opening pop to like 325 and then uh it came down and did this little tight flag and that's why i called it over 323 uh, so this flag had a high of 323 my call was 324 and the stop just seven cents below at 317 and it took off right away it actually ended up um going higher than this chart shows but anyway uh, just another stat catalyst play right tight flag high of day just above yesterday's high just above that and then kind of the most recent high just above that you guys know I love stat catalyst entries, uh, tight flags with the, the next catalyst just above. So on seven cents risk, um, you know, from 324, stop at 317, it ended up going to 357. Uh, let's switch to five minute candles and show you. So right there was the entry call and had a really nice move for Sears Holdings. I only got uh, a partial. I tried to get some size on that one and got a partial fill, but uh, still had a nice trade in it. Um, we're going to watch that one because let's see the high back here. 359 and it hit basically almost 359 358 on friday so it really looks good kind of over 360 maybe this thing runs to four so deserves to be on watch all week in my opinion got to be a lot of shorts in that thing um w o w wow uh, strong move on friday and you know closed fairly strong so we're gonna watch that for a continuation day vhc nice volume on friday uh topping out at 350 we'll see if it gives a setup the volume uh, interesting to me HTZ um, has support, you know, bounced off this area here, 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 and here again, and switching to 15 minute candles. You can kind of see that uh, topped out right here on Thursday at 1779, and then on Friday hit 1777, so kind of up over 1780. This thing might push through uh, 18 and get going. It certainly uh, adds some support here, right? I think they had news of uh, insider buy on Friday, if I'm not mistaken. SDRL had some a big spike back here, lower high here, lower high here, and another lower high here. Um, I like the fact that this uh, Thursday's high was like 34 cents. I'm rounding a little bit here, and um, Friday's high 32 cents, over 32. Maybe it takes out 34 and and, and can get uh, get squeezed in a little bit here. So I like this setup. We're gonna watch that one. RNN um kind of flagging here after this pop you know you can kind of picture a tight flag there want to watch that one for a possible breakout kndi had the big pop on thursday and actually held up pretty well on friday i like it over friday's high over 625 keep in mind it's a nickel spreader those aren't my favorite to trade zagg big pop on wednesday kind of a quiet inside day on thursday and then friday try to get going again if i switch to 15 minute candles uh, this might remind you guys of something topped out right around 15 bucks this is interesting over 15 we might have one of those whole number inflection point plays depending on how it sets up so i want to watch z-a-g-g -G. Uh, a few more pi pi had this gap up let's see this would have been tuesday and then a continuation on wednesday and then a couple days lower on on smaller volume on uh on thursday and friday so looking for this one to maybe turn back up again on monday we'll see if we get a proper setup there rgse solars have been hot um because of the California mandate of uh, new homes, I'll have to have solar panels starting, uh, I don't know, in a year or two. Um, kind of big news for the solar. So a big pop on Wednesday, 
couple lower days uh, on on really really declining volume. So RGSE pretty good setup for a pop on uh, on Monday. We'll see, right? And CLNE total like a 25% investment or something like that in CLNE on uh, and that was announced and then popped on gapped up on Thursday and then all the way back down to fill the gap on Friday. Um, that seems like big news to me, so I definitely want to watch this for a bounce now that we have the gap fill. Not in love with that chart, but uh, certainly worth watching. And I'm going to leave it at that. That is the list. We'll add some gappers in the pre-market on, uh, on Monday. And I hope everybody has a happy Mother's Day and uh, the rest of your weekend is fun. And we'll see everybody on Monday morning.